You know, that's part of the reason why Nipsey Hussle was so important, because he went against the grain and he showed folks that he can make a difference and he can inspire change in ways that some people couldn't even hope. Okay, he was bringing unconventional information to a group of individuals who potentially would have never even looked in that direction, you know, when it came to the documentary on, on Dr. Sebi and his, his work and, and bringing the information, that information to light, at least to p people who was never looking at it before. That's something that's impactful. I think that's very positive. I think we should look at that. I think we should also look at the fact that music is, is a way that we can all universally communicate with each other, you know, whether... Uh, whether you, you understand the lyrics or not, you know, sometimes I sit down, I listen to something, um, you know, from, from Japan. I don't know what they're saying, but I'll bob my head to it either way. And it's the same that goes, you know, over there, right? especially when you travel to different places, you get an appreciation uh, that you can't necessarily get when you just stick in one area or if you just m maintain one perspective. OK, and what's really important about these things is that we, we don't gloss over the fact that individuals just common individuals like you and me uh, can make an impact on people okay we can inspire change by pursuing what we have a passion to do and whether it's uh, altruism okay whether it's philanthropy and whether it's going out there you know just just trying to make uh, a positive impact or, or or push momentum so so other people can sort of see the light uh, that's that's what this is about and i think that's what he was doing in, in a way um where it maybe it posed a threat you know to some people some people see that some people when we see people who are trying to push peace and break the mold and, and you know change paradigms uh we we look at that from from those angles okay whether it's uh, malcolm x or, or martin luther king or, or jesus gandhi any of these individuals okay you know tupac uh we see how people who are, who are going against the grain, breaking the mold, and you know, whatever analogy you want to use here, uh, these, these people are targeted, okay? They get targeted not only by, you know, more nefarious entities, but elements within um, their own circles, okay? Elements within their own circles that you, you would say are, are agent provocateurs who, who are no longer serving the interest, the initiative that that individual is backing, uh, and they work against them, okay? When we look at what happened here in, in these neighborhoods and stuff, we have to understand that people lose their lives, and and it's, it's hard to look at this as a black and white situation. You know, there's more implications here. And when we see these kind of psychological operations and not, maybe not necessarily what happened at the actual events that unfolded at the time, but how the narratives are spun in the media and how they're able to, to shape that. That is ultimately what we have to look out for. If they can warp our perspective and, and sort of change the way we think about certain things, that's how we'll ultimately come to welcome or accept the uh, oppressive measures that otherwise we probably would have just denounced in, in, in any other circumstances. OK, uh, and, and I've talked about it before that we have a tendency to overcorrect. We often overcorrect when we see some of these shootings or these instances, even even if there's not a shooting here in America, like we saw with New Zealand, the subject, the talks we were having, you know, the, the scenario around that uh, we, we started bringing up uh, you know Sandy Hook and uh, you know the Parkland shooting in Vegas and all you know what happened at the country club in California and and now we, with that mental malleability after crisis and our tendency to overcorrect we we accept sort of the the spoon-fed policies and legislation that the you know the overlords try to um, push down our throats or b before was pushing down our throats and now we sort of welcome and, and I think that's unfortunate. And what we need to wake up to is that there are individuals out there in, in the community, uh, whether we're talking about a rapper, a blogger, um, an individual doing a podcast, a YouTuber, there are people out there who are just trying to bring alternative information to people who otherwise wouldn't look at it to, to make an impact, not just in their lives, but ultimately in all of our lives, because we, we, we got to reach out to the masses. It's the masses uh, that's the responsibility to start to change some of this stuff. It's easy to blame, you know, the deep state or, you know, the government mishandling funds and, and misappropriating, you know, all, all different kinds of things. It's easy to pass the blame, but ultimately we got to look in the mirror and say that we're the ones that are supposed to have the power to, to undo any of this, to, to make sure that this stuff stops, that, you know, we aren't endorsing this, but that's not what goes on. 
And unfortunately, a lot of this stuff goes by the wayside um, because, you know, no good crisis goes to waste. And anything that happens, we see the powers that shouldn't be take advantage of that. And by infiltrating, whether it's, you know, social media or the the news media or whatever platform people tend to plug into, it, it in many ways has been infiltrated by actors that don't serve the purpose that they say they are um serving okay and we see that even in the churches right the the wolves in sheep's clothing we don't see that you know and and when we talk about the scenarios before on this channel when it comes to martial law or totalitarian tiptoe and people like look that'll never happen we've got our guns we're not like other places we've got guns we have an armed population i do understand that but we also have an equally uninformed one and in a lot of cases they don't even know we have the right to defend ourselves depending on what we're talking about what we saw with new york city new york is out of control okay Okay, they started with banning children, unvaccinated children from certain places. Okay, then they started with the vaccine mandates, saying that you know, they were threatening jail time, fines up to a thousand dollars, and closing establishments like their their yeshivas, their schools. You know, that's absolutely crazy because you're not vaccinated. The government has lied before. One of my listeners has made the point, right? The government lies about everything else, but what? Not about vaccines? It's like, come on. Okay, we talked about what Congress did. Uh, back in the 1980s, back in 1990s, I think it was, which essentially gave, you know, these pharmaceutical companies free reign over uh, the vaccines because they couldn't be sued. They couldn't be sued if they caused permanent injury or death. You know what I'm saying? So there are heavy implications here as all this stuff matters. Any type of alternative information matters. And again, whether we're talking about rapper Nipsey Hussle uh, or anyone else, this is this is important stuff. OK, bringing that unconventional information when it comes to the medical field, saying that, you know, herbalistic, holistic healers and this this way of healing um, can permanently, permanently fix chronic illnesses, especially some of the ones that we suffer from in the United States. That's information that, you know, the powers that shouldn't be aren't going to readily let become available. Sure, there's small vestiges of that and people are waking up to it. But we got to think about our approaches when it comes to no matter what the situation is okay we got to scrutinize things better because there's something coming that the people isn't ready for okay everything ties into this coming new world order this agenda that's that's not going to benefit the people it's going to be tyrannical it is tyrannical and and we're already seeing that like i said new york is out of control what did we see in in chandler okay police busting down the door to get to an unvaccinated child and took two other children along the way it's absolutely incredible just look at how far we've come. I think we're deeper in this than we think. Anyway, California Carter, signing off.